Genetics has placed me in a position that I've always had a flat butt. So filling in areas onto the back of my butt will make it a nice curvy, round, funny, happy shape. I could use a little oomph. Well, I think that this will make me feel a lot more sexy. Today we're traveling all over the world to show you four ways to rebuild your body. And number four on our list is a brand new procedure called the Colombian High Def Butt Lift. Kate's in great shape, but like many women after three pregnancies, she wishes her butt was rounder and shapelier. So she went to see Dr. David Broadway, one of the very few doctors who does this brand new procedure. It's all about the butt. And I have kind of just a boring old lady's butt it's like Beyonce. She has a great butt. I want a sassy, fun, sexy kind of butt. Kate has sort of a flat bottom. It just doesn't really pop. And when Dr. Broadway explained to me that we could take fat from your thighs and actually place it into your buttocks, I thought it was great. I have incorporated a new procedure called the Colombian High Def Butt Lift. We'll take her from looking good to just wow. Kate's pretty thin, so we're actually going to take fat from the thighs. We're also going to take it from the knees. So we'll have enough fat to do what we're looking for. The phaser is an ultrasound machine. Energy is emitted. It actually sort of breaks the cement between the fat cells. And that allows us to take that fat out and then re-inject it. So now I'm just... Uh, doing a little bit of liposuction. Okay, so we're uh, we finished the front side of the legs. Um, you can see how much fat we got too. So we're done on this side. We'll flip her over, and we'll do some fat injections. So we'll inject here. We'll inject here, and this will smooth her skin out a lot. I'll put some fat in the muscle, and then we'll put some into the fat itself to make it plump up a bit. And you can see now I'm starting to get nice fullness left to right. This, this is much fuller than this side over here. And so I'll just put a little bit of fat there. And that'll help that divot. That looks real smooth. Okay, that's it. Got all our fat in. All that we have is gone. Put some in both buttocks. So I think she looks pretty good. Dr. Broadway and Kate are here with us today. And Kate, it's been about two weeks, right? Right. And how are you doing? You know, I'm doing great. I feel great. A little easier to sit now? A little easier to sit. I couldn't okay. sit for about a week. But um, it was a little journey. At first, it, it hurt. There was some discomfort in that. Well, whenever we do anything on that part of the body, as I, I mentioned earlier on, you will be a little bit sore, but I'm sure it will be right. well worth it down the line. So tell right. us about High Def Vaser. Well, high def phaser is a technique where we actually try to sculpt the body more. Liposuction in the past has just been reducing volume, making the abdomen thinner, for instance. But today, what we're using is the muscles underneath, the bony structure to actually give a three-dimensional look. And um, it's a lot of fun. It's, it's, um, so show us the difference. Show us the instrument. The old days of liposuction, it was just basically a tube that loosened up the fat and sucked it out. You're doing exactly. a lot more now. Exactly. Well, this is one of the older cannulas that, that we used to use, and you can see how it's uh, pretty big and traumatic. But today, we're able to use a smaller cannula, and this is the one that we used on, on Kate. We first break the fat up with the ultrasound. The ultrasound sort of breaks the cement between the fat cells, and then it changes the structure of the fat to something much easier to work with. Instead of chopping on a wood block, now we're working on butter. So actually now I can sculpt the fat much more easily, much more precisely, and give more definition. And again, this, this has an ultrasonic component to it, so you're also getting skin tightening, skin exactly. redraping, lifting of sorts at the same time. And I, and I saw in the pictures the quality of the fat that you retrieved, that you put in the right place for Kate, is much better quality with this technique. It, it's much easier to work with too. It doesn't have the little chunks and pieces. It's really smooth. It's almost like, like um, a milkshake almost. So you can really control well, with where, the fat. Where did you find all this fat on Kate? She just she doesn't look that 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 big. I'm sure you had to uh, search pretty pretty well because I know that you actually removed like a quart and a half of fat, right? Well, we took about a pound and a half of fat. From, and you can from show Kate. what that. Comes right. out to a little bit. So in this that, is this is about specimen. how much fat we took from Isn't her that overall. Lovely? That's what we do. We love working with this stuff. That's we? right. So where where did you take the fat from on her body? Well, we actually took it from a number of places. We took it from the inner thigh here, and also her knees. And then I'm going to spin this around, 
and here on the back side we took it from the inner thigh and the knees as well. But the difference between standard liposuction and what we did with her mm -hmm. is we're trying to bring the muscles out here and I actually created the little dimples that, that you see here drawn and we took the fat out here and here. Um, once we got the fat out, we were able to put the fat back in both deep into the muscle layer and also into the fatty layer in this area and she had, she had a lot of fullness here and here and a depression in between so she sort of had this violin right, look. Right. So we took this fat away, this fat away, and we added fat here, and we added fat back over here. In the so-called trochanter there, exactly. where you have that depression. Exactly. And we, we find a couple things in putting the fat into the muscle that it's more likely to, to take as a graft to last. Right. And better sculpt. These are just technical things. Right. So are you ready to see Kate's new butt? Yeah. yeah. Let's take a look at Kate's before picture. And now her after, right now. Let's see a little show. Like like well, thank you, Dr. Broadway and Kate, and good luck to both of you. Now, would you have this done? We want to know what you think. Go to our message boards at thedoctorstv.com and sound off. And while you're there, check out more footage of Kate's surgery, the part that we couldn't show on TV. And coming up, have you ever sprained your ankle or had a little tennis elbow?